This is brutally honest advice for new .NET web developers. I've been coding for over 3 years and in this video I'm sharing the lessons I learned the hard way so you don't have to. The very first thing you need to do is take things one at a time. If you try to learn a little bit of everything in .NET without actually taking the time to really understand it, it won't take you far. Instead, it will overwhelm you, make everything more confusing and prevent you from seeing how all these topics connect together. You should already know some C Sharp plus some HTML and CSS to be in a good position to start. Those are the essentials, because the code you'll use in .NET web apps is exactly that. C Sharp on the back end and HTML and CSS for the basics on the front end. From there it's about learning the web framework, ASP.NET Core. And here's the thing you're most likely to get wrong. Jumping straight into copying full project tutorials from the start. Don't do that. First, try to understand creating a project, how it's structured, what the files are and what they're used for. Then create the most basic things you can, even just printing a few lines of text on the screen. After that, move on to making your data persist in the app and learn how to work with a database and tools like Entity Framework Core. This will teach you the basics of full stack apps, how the whole workflow of an application actually looks. From there, you can try more complex things like using identity for user accounts, structuring your projects with services, writing cleaner code and following best practices. You probably already get what I mean now. Even just listing all of this can feel like too much. That's exactly why you shouldn't try to learn it all at once without understanding it and how everything connects. It will only hold you back. The second thing you can't avoid or shortcut is that you only get good at coding by doing the reps, by building, failing and fixing your own mistakes. The first few projects will feel slow, messy and full of errors, you'll google things you don't understand, you'll bounce between YouTube channels, tutorials and forums, it's as frustrating as it sounds. But that is the process. Each time you fix a weird bug, deal with a confusing error or realize you forgot a semicolon, you're getting better. You're learning how to approach problems like a developer. Eventually, you'll spot bugs faster, problems will feel easier to solve, you'll stop watching 10 different creators and stick to the one who actually helps you most. But you only get there by showing up, by writing code and by putting in their apps. It really has to feel overwhelming before it gets clear and you are the one who creates that clarity for yourself. If you'd like my direct help to get there, you can find me inside the .NET squad. It's a place to turn whenever you're stuck on code or need some guidance. It's free to start, link is below. Now moving on to the last piece of advice, which is simpler-ish. You should avoid learning things you don't actually need. I know it sounds obvious, but I've wasted a lot of time on this myself. For example, maybe you won't be doing much front-end work. If that's the case, you don't need to spend weeks learning Angular or React. You'll probably only need a little bit of JavaScript in the beginning and even that can wait. The same goes for multiple programming languages. At the start, you just need one, C Sharp. Later, you can add some JavaScript for front-end web development basics, but that's about it. The same applies to tools or libraries that you're not sure you'll even use. This is in my opinion one of the big reasons why building apps helps so much. You naturally run into situations where you need a specific library or tool and when that happens you'll know why you're learning it and why it's useful because you actually need it and are applying it. Having a roadmap to follow is also a big factor in avoiding unnecessary topics as it shows you where to focus next. I've done a video explaining exactly that, it's on the screen now, so click on it and I'll see you there. Thank you for watching.